Subscribe right now. judgment all right so uh what's good youtube what's good what's good what's good this is your boy designer ash back for another one and in today's video presenting you guys my top 10 essentials now these essentials ain't gonna have no parameters around things it's not like a top 10 skin essentials top 10 lifestyle essentials top 10 wardrobe essentials it's none of that it's more so like a top 10 daily essential for me that I just been that like I just almost can't live without you know what I'm saying so uh, without further ado I guess let's um let's hop into this video let's get it let's go and y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's go all right so first essential will be this bad boy this is a card holder i recently switched over to this probably like a couple months ago best change i ever made i really i'm still gonna get like a designer one this is just me testing this gun out this one i got from nordstrom rack this is uh, the public opinion leather card holder but yeah bro so sleek this really on some grown man shit look at how thin that is this slides right in your pocket. You don't need no big wallet. You do not understand how painful it is driving and sitting on a wallet like this thick. You know what I'm saying? I used to do that shit every day. My ass was getting tired of it, bro. I switched over. This literally fits anywhere. Boom, it's gone. It's, it's, it's not even visible, you know what I'm saying? So, to all you men out there, get you a card holder, make the switch. Ladies will love it, especially if we got like a designer one like Tom Ford, a wide sale. That's what I'm gonna go with. I might treat myself for this Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah, number one, car holder, right? Alright, for the second essential, boom. Bet you can't even see it from far. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it get close. I'm gonna let it get close. You reading that? These are T tree toothpicks. Matter of fact. Might as well go ahead and pop one in my mouth. Yeah, so that's how we're getting jiggy. These these peppermints are literally amazing, bro. The tea tree is like minty, it's like super minty. These used to be like a trademark for me, bro, in high school. I'm not joking, an actual trademark. I'm not even joking, bro. I literally used to burn people's eyeballs. My breath would be so minty fresh. Like these are definitely a daily essential. Keeps your mouth super minty fresh, you know. I always gotta smell good everywhere, mouth included, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And we're gonna keep getting further into that, but you'll see that that shit is a trend amongst my essential, my personal essential, smelling good. So, uh, yeah, get your toothpicks, smell good. I'm telling you, they're the mintiest thing ever. They last super strong. They're better than gum. They're better than any mint gum you could ever get. These just literally burn your mouth and your tongue when we first start chewing them. Now I'm pretty much accustomed to them. They don't burn me as much. I guess they burn all the bacteria away or whatever. But these joints are the truth. This is not a sponsorship, I'm telling you. You can find these joints at Whole Foods. They are legendary. All right, so next essential would of course be a candle. Now, it doesn't have to be this candle. This candle is a very expensive candle. If you don't know, this is a diptyque base candle. These candles range from like, I mean, you can get a smaller one for like $40. It's, it's probably gonna, it's gonna be like this size kind of. And actually this is, this is another great smelling candle. This is uh, from PF Candle Co, the Amber and Moss Soy Candle. This is legendary as well. But get you a good candle, you know what I'm saying? Or it's just a good house scent. I like the bays and the amber moss because they're like a natural smelling house scent. They occur in nature. 
I don't know, something about me recently, I've been stuck on like natural smelling scents when it comes to room sprays, diffusers, all of that shit falls in this category of the candle. You get know what I'm saying? You gotta have just your house smelling like a vibe, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like those artificial scents. I don't like candy canes and apple pie. I don't like stuff like that. I don't, it's too gimmicky. It smells fake. It smells artificial. These, it's just literally just smell like good natural smells. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a vibe. Gotta get you a good candle, room spray, just house smell, you know? Just make your house smell very well. When people walk in, they should be like, hmm, what a nice fragrance. My car has a great smell. Like, you just gotta have your everything that surrounds you smelling good, then you always smelling good. You get what I'm saying? Keep that. These are keys, bro, I'm giving you. These are keys, you see what I'm saying? So next, um, we're gonna keep rocking with the scents, honest to God. This is crazy, but I'ma just go ahead and since we on this train of topic, you know what I'm saying? I might as well just he keep hitting them to reiterate how serious smelling good is, bro. So this one is cologne, bro. You gotta look, alright. You gotta have a good daily cologne. This is my daily cologne. This is is Dolce and Gabbana light blue best smelling daily cologne in my opinion don't go steal my shit because i don't want other men to smell like me every day i know this is like a mainstream cologne i'm gonna switch it up but this is so light you can spray it as many times as you want to it's never overpowering that is a secret i never try to get an overpowering cologne why would you get a cologne where you can spray two times and it hurt bro I got a whole cologne collection. It's an assortment. As you can probably see right now, I'm then throwing B-roll over. You see all the different colognes I got from Chanel to everything, Prada, Gucci. You see what I'm saying? I got it all, literally. And the Versace Poor Home. That, that is another one. Oh, and um, Calvin Klein CK1. I don't really wear Calvin no more. I'm, I'm a grown man, that was more awesome some young shit, like high school shit, but Calvin Klein's another one. Well, the CK1, that is another one where the scent is so light you can spray it forever and it never be overpowering. And it's just a great scent, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta get you a great daily clone. Don't just get them overpowering shit. That shit is not cool no more. You don't want to walk into a room and the whole room smell like you, bro. You want to walk by a group of girls or whatever and that shit be like, Damn, girl, you smell that nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's how you gonna hit these folks, bro. Stop trying to like kill these bitches. Like when they hopping in your car and they can't smell nothing but you, that's a turn off. I'm telling you right now, that's a turn off. Listen to me, I'm giving you these keys, bro. So moving on, it's still with smell. Get you a good deodorant. My deodorant of choice is this Arm & Helmer Powder Fresh Ultra Max. Ain't no smells coming from my armpits ever, bro. Look, I'm obsessed with clean smells. You don't get no better smell than powder fresh. No bullshit. A lot of companies do powder fresh, but none do it as good as Arm and Hammer. Believe that. And these shits are hard to find. These are not in every store no more, bro. I have to literally go to a specific Walgreens to find these shits. So these are hard to come by. Niggas are not smelling like me under their armpits, bro. But this is a key. I'm telling you, this is another key. I ain't gonna lie, I done lost count. I think this is what? Like number six? Let me, let me think. Yeah, this is number six. This is number six. Number six is my AirPods. These were a birthday present. Uh, I've actually had two pair. The first pair I lost. The second pair, I, I still got. I wasn't gonna lose these pair, you know what I'm saying? And also made sure that we wouldn't lose this pair because um, we got the little covered shit. But these were a birthday gift. I honestly God, would probably have never bought these for myself. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted them. I enjoy the shit out of them. I just never would have bought them for myself. I don't know why. Funny enough, I like my birthday presents and gifts like that to be something like that. To be something that I would want but would never buy myself. That's what I want my presents to be. 
you know what I'm saying? Just a tidbit for any of y'all who ever wanna buy me a gift anytime, you know what I'm saying? Just saying, just saying. These AirPods go everywhere. These AirPods literally go everywhere with me. They are literally an essential. These are, this is probably top, this is number one essential on my list. These are not in no order, but this one is number one. I'm not bullshitting you. I literally go everywhere with these. I can't leave the house without them. It's then gotten me spoiled, bro. Like, like if I don't have them, I almost hate having my phone up to my ear. It's just so like inconvenient to not have a hand, a free hand. Again, you don't have to buy an expensive ass version like I did. I mean, they literally sell rip off AirPods everywhere. You can get them at gas stations, Walmart, anywhere. You can get the real ones at Walmart or the fake ones at Walmart. You see what I'm saying? So they literally sell AirPod versions or AirPods anywhere. Um, so I would definitely tell you to go invest in one of these because wireless headphones that aren't bulky, like those Beats and shit, because Beats were cool at a point in time, but wireless headphones that aren't bulky are the wave and they are the future and they are so lit. And they have literally got me spoiled. I love being able to talk and still have all my hands. So, gotta get, shout out to AirPods. Shout out to Apple for doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, AirPods is number six essential. Since we're on the theme of Apple, might as well go ahead and pull out the all white cord as well. You know, gotta have a big, gotta have an iPad cord or the lightning fast joint. Cause those are, charge your phone hella fast. Them little blocks that Apple used to give us them shits is bullshit. Everybody know they bullshit. I don't know why they was even out here selling them just to us. But if you get one of these, the truth, these are iconic, these are everything, these are legendary. And my phone died so much. Y'all know my phone is broke as fuck. Uh, it literally got a screen going down the middle that's the color of the cash app. All right, sorry about that. My camera like overheated, but we was talking about this jump. Like I was saying, my phone is always broke. Literally broke, cracked up, the battery sucks, all that nine. So this is literally a essential for mine right now. You gotta have a good phone charger. Can't wait till this 12 come out, you know what I'm saying? But number seven, good phone charger. All right, all right, all right, all right. This next one might seem weird. I promise you, it is a little weird for me to throw this in the list, but it is kind of like one of those all the time essentials because like I love clothes. I love it being displayed well. As you can see literally my closet is ridiculous. I got so many options and so boom. My next list is these hangers. These bad boys are from Target. These are the made by design Target hangers. These joints are lit. I'm not joking. This high quality is wood. It's sturdy, it's stable. And I just wanted something that was like a real sturdy looking hanger. This just looks so sturdy. Like, let's be serious. Like, I mean, this shit you can probably hit somebody and knock them out with. I really like this hanger a lot. And that's why I threw it in my essential because you, you need a good hanger. Granted, this jump will take down on room in your closet a little bit because my closet full as fuck. So I got to rearrange some things in there, but it's a great closet essential. Lifestyle essential, I guess, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but this hanger is in there. All right, last but not least, my 10th essential is a good pair of sunglasses. You need an everyday sunglass that's just not too noticeable, not doing too much. I feel like it just goes for everybody. You need like a low key, chill ass sunglass. My eyes are pretty sensitive when it comes to the sun and shit. I like to wear sunglasses often. I just can't see, like, I don't know my eyes. But my eyes already sit pretty low naturally. I don't like to let a lot of light into my eyes. Like right now, this light, y'all see in this mirror right here, that light is bright as fuck in my face. And it's honestly killing me. So I should have had these on the whole video. These are Dior. ASAP Rocky actually had them on, as you can see. He did a campaign for Dior. These are the Dior sunglasses. You, again, you don't have to spend $600 on some sunglasses like I did. But if you want a good pair of everyday sunglasses, I'd say go to Sunglass Hut. But you just need a nice sleek black pair of sunglasses. You know what I'm saying? Just an everyday sleek black pair of sunglasses. You can never go wrong with a black pair of sunglasses. And those are my 10 essentials that everybody needs. Not just men, not just women. I'm talking about everybody. Everybody needs these 10 essentials. 
It'll change your life, I promise, especially the two picks. We got one honorable mention. We got one honorable mention, you know what I'm saying? It's been COVID, it's been a quarantine, it's coronavirus year, you know what I'm saying? Yo, and last but not least, of course, we got the good honorable mention. A face mask. You know, we can't go nowhere, 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 nowhere without a face mask right now because of, you know, just this coronavirus quarantine debacle. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, yes, I had to get one. That match your boy outfit. This is just one for today that my outfit. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been needing this as much recently because you know Memphis kind of open like crazy enough. Memphis is kind of open. I be going to gas stations, Kroger, Target, Walmart. I can get it. I even went to Starbucks. I even went to Starbucks and I went in with no mask. I don't know what's going on. I'm telling you, people ain't caring about the mask no more. And I swear ain't nobody else getting sick, despite what the news saying. Despite what the news saying, I'm not seeing nobody else really catching Corona. But, shout out to y'all for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you watch this whole thing, subscribe right now. Like I said, just chop it up with your boy in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Ashen is out. I'm done giving you my my good old essentials. These are my secrets. Now these are our secrets. Ash Army, I love you. So let's get it. Let's go. Rose to 1K. Ash is out. Yeah, I know you know I ain't never going broke. My pockets getting swollen like Sylvester Stallone. Get it stressed to cocaine like I'm Pablo Esco. My diamonds keep boxing and my flows is off the rope. She says she won't love, but I ain't going down that road. Bitch, I'm too young for the Cupid. Don't be stupid. I'm just trying to fuck one time to keep it moving. This shit call me trifling. Not the first I heard that line in my movie.